Hey everyone, welcome back to a new weekly reading vlog. It is already Thursday, but I will do a little roundup of everything that happened on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Because this weekly reading vlog, I decided to only read digitally. So either on my Kindle or on like e- or no, audiobook. <laughs> to just see if I read more, if I read less. And I thought it was just a fun challenge to only read digitally. So let's talk about the two books that I am reading. The first one is an audiobook called Leadenborn by Tracy Dion. I actually do have that book physically as well, but I saw it on script and I thought I would just give it a try on audio. I will read you the synopsis from the book because it's just easier to explain it like that. It's quite like a lot is happening. This is a YA fantasy book, by the way, and it is all about a girl named Brie. After her mother dies in an accident, 16-year-old Brie Matthews wants to escape. A residential program for bright high schoolers seems like the perfect opportunity until she witnesses a magical attack her very first night on campus. A flying demon feeding on human energies. A secret society of so-called legend born that hunt the creatures down. A mysterious mage who calls himself a Merlin and who attempts and fails to wipe Brie's memory of everything that she saw. The mage's failure unlocks Brie's own unique magic and a buried memory about her mother. Now Brie will do whatever it takes to discover the truth, even infiltrate the legend born. But when the legend born reveal themselves as the descendants of King Arthur's knights and foretell a magical wall, Brie must decide how far she'll go for the truth. Should she use her magic to take the society down or join the fight? So this is like a fantasy dark academia that is like based on King Arthur and just a lot of cool dark academia themes. I'm really enjoying this one. I think the audiobook is so great as well. So it's really fun to just read this YA fantasy again because I haven't really read that much YA fantasy this year. So I'm really excited to finally be reading one again. And I am currently, let me see um 39 percent of the way through it's quite a big one and i'm listening to it at 1.2 times speed because if i'm listening to like a fantasy book i really need to listen to it very slowly because there's just so much information and you know with a contemporary it's much easier to understand everything but here because it's fantasy so many new words that you don't know yet so you have to learn about it so i'm listening to it at like 1.2 times speed so that is the book that i am audio booking <laughs> audio booking listening to and then I'm also reading two books on my Kindle. At first I started out this week with a book called Destined by Alison Craft. I actually saw this one last week in my Titanic themed reading vlog. And this is a vampire story that takes place on Titanic. <laughs> so you follow this girl named Apolline and suddenly she's like transported back in time to Titanic. She's a vampire hunter and she's sent back to Titanic in 1912 to kill this vampire who is on the ship. It sounds so strange if I say it out loud, but yeah, this is really what it's about. I am enjoying this one so much. I didn't think I would enjoy this much, but the thing that I really like about it is that um, Apolline is kind of just this normal girl who lives in our world. It's kind of like urban fantasy, but she's a vampire hunter, but she is like herself very fascinated with titanic and with the actual 1997 film that is mentioned in this book as well so just imagine someone like me suddenly being transported to titanic and just seeing everything around you and admiring this majestic ship and that's really what i'm feeling through her she's constantly seeing these things that she's always seen like on film or in photographs so that's really like an interesting thing about this story so i'm really enjoying that one but then i also wanted to start a different book so i decided to reread six of crows i watched the tv show shadow and bone last weekend and just ah, it was so freaking good so i decided to reread six of crows because i looked it up and the last time i read it was in january of 2016 so that's five years ago no wonder I forgot everything. I am loving this reread so very much. So if you don't know Six of Crows, Six of Crows takes place in like the Grisha verse written by Libra Dugo. And you follow this group of teenagers called the Dreads and they are going to be doing this very dangerous heist. I'm just loving it so very much. The characters, I'm really happy that we now have this TV show so I can visualize the characters when I'm reading about them because I'm very good at visualizing um, just like environments and houses in books and landscapes but visualizing characters in my head i am just so bad at it i can't really do it so i'm really happy that now i have this idea of what a character looks like in the tv show and i can just see that in my head whilst reading and i'm just loving that so much so i'm so grateful for the tv show it's just it's so freaking good 
So that is what I am reading. But I thought I would also tell you a little bit more about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday if I did anything fun to just go back. By the way, by the time you're seeing this video, there are still 15% off everything in my shop if you use the code Mother's Day. It lasts until Mother's Day. I believe that's May 9th. So you can get 15% off everything in my shop. Maybe a gift for your mum or for yourself. And on Tuesday, I went on a little walk with Leora from Books with Leo. So that was really fun. And we just chatted and we tried to go for walks more often because it's healthy and it's just fun to catch up. And also Tuesday, it was King's Day, which is this national holiday in the Netherlands. It's our king's birthday. And normally the thing that we do is we dress up in orange because orange is like the Dutch color and we just get day drunk and party. But of course, this wasn't really a possibility right now. So I just went to this um, kind of beach area that we have nearby. It was outdoors and you could get some um, food and drinks and just eat it outside, but it wasn't too busy, luckily. And I just went there with a friend that we had some food and some ice cream. So it was just a very cozy afternoon. So that was just a little everything that happened. By the way, with an audiobook, what's so great is when I'm like um, brushing my teeth, I can just put the audiobook, no audiobook, ebook on my little shelf because I don't really have to hold it because it's not like a book. So I can just put it there and just read whilst I'm brushing my teeth. That is absolutely amazing. I'm loving reading these ebooks because I feel like it's a lot less um, effort to pick it up. Also just in bed, I can just lie on my side and easily read it without getting like cramps because you have to hold this book and stuff. So I think that this week will really help me to get more into ebooks. So I'm really curious how many ebooks I will read after this week. But right now I'm going to be doing something very exciting because I'm going to be putting my products, most of my products, in a physical store. I'm going to be selling my products at two stores, one in Rotterdam, one in The Hague. They're called the Swan Market stores. And Swan Market is basically this Dutch company and they organize markets as well as like they have a few physical stores where small business owners and small creators can sell their products in an actual store. So it's just full of products created by small business owners. So I'm going to be putting my products there as well. I'm so excited. This is a really cool step to actually see my products and my um, like designs in a physical store. So I'm going to be doing that in a bit. And of course I will show you once it's all done. I'm so excited. This is really, really cool. Okay, very long intro. <laughs> I think I'm going back to work and I'll see you soon. end of the day I put all of my products in the store in Rotterdam today which is so exciting and then tomorrow I'm going to um, put them in the store in The Hague. I will leave all of the information of the stores down below in the description so if you are from the Netherlands and you are nearby you can take a look and see my products in an actual physical store which is so cool. Um, so I did that then I also edited my Titanic reading vlog. I did this vlog all about reading Titanic books for a week so if you haven't checked that out you can check it out there. I haven't read much actually from Six of Crows or um, A Legend Born today. Also my fringe I really need to cut it because I was just busy so i'm going to be reading some more from six of crows tonight and i'll keep you updated tomorrow this vlog is a bit all over the place i'll see you tomorrow What an outfit. <laughs> Dressing gown over my normal clothes because I was cold. It is Saturday and if my eyes are a little bit red, I just watched Nomadland and it was really, really good and I cried a little and it is definitely a film that makes you think a lot. So if you haven't seen it, it's on Disney Plus right now and it's um, like it won Oscar for best film, best director, best actress in a leading role, I believe. So just overall, 
so many Oscars and I totally understand why. I thought it was so good. So for my audiobook, Legend Born, it's a really long audiobook, so I haven't finished it yet. But I'm 64% of the way through and I have like six hours left, so I really hope to finish it this weekend. I think this book is so great. First of all, it's like Dark Academia, which I just love. But there is so much representation in this book. And also the writer talks a lot about like racial injustice, going back to like slavery and colonialism. So it's definitely dealing a lot with these topics. But also the very small things that black people deal with on a daily basis. For example, people asking if they can touch their hair. I think it's so great that the writer touches on so many of these topics that happen you know on a daily basis that we as a reader can definitely learn about and then the two books that i'm reading on um my kindle so i'm still reading six of crows and destined i started six of crows as i said um but i want to finish one of the two this weekend so i'm only 25 percent of the way through six of crows but i'm 43 percent of the way through um, Destin. So I think I might just continue that one today and see if I can finish it tomorrow or today, who knows. But I don't think I'll be able to finish both because I haven't been in the best reading mood the past couple of days. But I am loving reading on my Kindle because it's just so easy to read. <laughs> just like lie down and read. And that's just something I'm really enjoying. And also in the dark when it like just lights up and in the metro so i'm loving reading on my kindle but i will keep you updated on that as well but now i'm just going to go for a walk and deliver some packages to the post office some orders and that's it i'm having a very cozy weekend i don't really have any plans which i quite like because last weekend um i was like quite busy so i like sometimes having just the entire weekend off and watching films and stuff and reading so that is what i'm gonna do happy sunday so I just washed my hair. It is the second time I'm doing this like curly girl method and what? <laughs> I have curls in my hair. There are some of them that are like crazy curly. The only thing is my hair just naturally gets super frizzy no matter like what type of hair masks I use or oils or whatever. It's just really annoying especially if I can't like blow dry it because of this curly girl method. So I'm just going to try to get used to it and see if it changes, but this is really funny and interesting to see how there are like kind of curls in my hair. <laughs> so well, um, that's that. But I have some great news. It is currently a course to 11 on Sunday. This morning I finished Destined, the Titanic of Vampire Hunter book. <laughs> I enjoyed it so much. I gave it four out of five stars. I will um, talk some more about it in my actual wrap up, but it was just so much fun. I liked the little plot twist about this girl who's completely obsessed with Titanic, <coughs> aka me, and I enjoyed it so much. So I'm really happy that I read that one. And I also finished Legendborn, the audiobook. I finished it yesterday evening before I went to bed, and I also thought that one was great. It was definitely a very solid YF fantasy story. The only thing that bothered me a bit was that the magic system was quite like um, complicated at first, and sometimes I felt like I didn't really understand everything too well. So that is something that wasn't too amazing in my opinion, but overall I thought it was so great. And I'm very curious about book two now because the ending was definitely a big shock. So I am still reading Six of Crows on ebook. I will definitely read some more today, but I also decided to start a new audiobook, namely The Radium Girls. This is a non-fiction book. I actually have this on my shelf, but I just never picked it up. And then I saw that it's actually on script. So I decided to listen to it. It's quite a long audiobook as well, just as with Legendborn, but um, I feel like it's going to be quite a quick read because I've like I with non-fiction I fly through those on audiobook. This is written by Kate Moore and this is basically all about girls who worked in radium factories or like watch factories in the beginning of the 1900s where they painted watches using radium and radium was discovered um, sometime before that it was seen as like this magical element that could cure diseases and give you whiter teeth and they put it in every single thing and they I didn't know this it was, I didn't know it was so crazy I just read like I listened to it about um, I just listened to it but they put it in so many products or like they said they put it in products it was super expensive but just as like oh this will cure everything and it's like a magical element and it's all about the woman who worked in this factory where they use radium in paint and they had to paint watches. But sometime later they found out it is incredibly toxic for your body and these girls 
used to lick the brushes that had radium on it so they could create like this really pointy tiny brush so they can you know paint the really tiny elements of the watch so they constantly consumed radium without knowing the effects on their body so this book really talks about everything that happened after that and how it's already so honestly so shocking how the radium um with this one woman she's talking about how it literally made her jaw and her teeth fall out this is so messed up i didn't know it was this bad and i've seen photos before because when i bought this book i was like let's look up at radium and what it does to people it is so freaking shocking so this is all about just the history of radium and what it does to people it is crazy it is absolutely crazy it's like so interesting at the same time how they thought at first like oh it is a magical element it's you can use it for everything and then years later they find out it's incredibly toxic so that's kind of scary as well so yeah that's the audiobook i'm currently listening to but it's so interesting so i'm definitely going to listen to it more today my video is just exporting it is like this q1 statistics and it's all about the books that i read in the first quarter of the year and all of the statistics so if you want to check it out you can check it out there but that is it for now i will keep you updated on six of crows as well i'm enjoying it so much and i'm constantly listening to the soundtrack from shadow and bone it's such a good soundtrack and i'm just going to have a very cozy sunday it's quite sunny so i'm gonna go for a walk in a bit and oh this morning i tried something new with my eggs i saw this video, i had some eggs so i thought i would eat some toast and eggs and i saw this video where people instead of putting like butter to fry your eggs in you just put some pesto and then you put the eggs on there and it's such a good taste pesto with eggs i didn't know that so i tried it it's so good so i just put like pesto and then you bake your eggs in there and then just like salt and pepper and always put like lots of chili flakes it was really good so that was a very nice breakfast yeah i'm going to have a cozy sunday I had the most productive Sunday and I'm so happy. I listened to so much of the Radium Girls and it's nearly dinner time and I didn't feel like cooking. So I thought I'd treat myself to some pizza. And I'm so excited because I'm feeling very peckish so I can eat some pizza. And tonight I'm just going to relax, read some Six of Crows and that's it. Oh yeah, got my garlic sauce, got my wine, got my pizza and friends. Happy Monday, it is already 3 p.m. but I thought I would just end this vlog here and tell you how much I still read. So I listened to so much more from the Radium Girls. It is so good and so shocking and so sickening how they were just not listened to. They had to go to court, they had to like file lawsuits and everything. Because these companies were still denying that Radium was bad, this is absolutely horrible. I'm 55% of the way through. I don't know how there's even so much more information. I feel like I've read so much already, but I'm only halfway through the book, so I think there's gonna be so much more information. Why have I waited so long with reading this book? It is really good. So I will continue listening to that one. And then on my Kindle, what I still read from Six of Crows, not... <laughs> Yesterday evening before I went to bed, I thought, oh, I'm just going to read Six of Crows for like an hour. And then I went to bed and then I found some Graham Norton videos on YouTube and then I binged those. So I read for two minutes. I'm only 25% of the way through Six of Crows, but I'm definitely going to continue reading this one because I'm just enjoying it so much. And it's so fun being back in that world because as I said, the last time I read Six of Crows is like five years ago. So I'm definitely going to continue reading. But overall for just this week, because I just read digitally, I loved it. And I forgot how much I love my Kindle because it's just so easy to read on here and so comfortable. And yes, you don't have that actual feeling of holding a book and, you know, flipping a page, but still, I'm loving this. So I'm pretty sure I will be reading more on my Kindle um, from now on. So in total, I read quite a bit. I finished Destined. I read the entire Legendborn audiobook. I read some Six of Crows and I read half of the um, audiobook from the Radium Girls. So I read so much this week. 
I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment, um, let's see if there's like a fun emoji. There isn't really like a, an ebook emoji. <laughs> okay, comment the little iPhone emoji. So it's also like um, digital reading because you can also read Kindle on your iPhone. So comment a little iPhone emoji and then I still, like I see that you watched the video because I just love reading comments and I know how sometimes it's difficult to, like you don't know what to comment. Um, so if you comment a little iPhone emoji, I will know that you've watched the video. Again, thank you so much for watching. Of course, you can also follow me on my social media and on my Patreon page. On my Patreon, I post extra content, extra videos and um, like my monthly film wrap up and things like that. So don't forget to check it out. I always link everything down below in the description. And last but not least, I really hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!